That means it's festival time. One particular festival, actually. Yeah. Fun kicks off right here in North Texas today. One of the country's most authentic Oktoberfest celebrations. Oh, this is huge. Hannah joins us from Addison Circle Park. The Addison Oktoberfest. Hey, Hannah. Hey, good morning, you guys. Yeah, it's a little bit of German flair with a little bit of Texas style here in Addison. This annual event brings thousands of people each year, and for good reason. We're talking with Abby Morales, the uh, special events director for the town of Addison this morning about it. I know we have all of the, the foods and drinks that people know and love and associate with Oktoberfest, but there's some other pretty special, exciting things new for this year as well. What are those? Yeah, so we've added a green space, and Silent Disco is going to be featured there, as well as a retro art. Arcade. We've added a root beer garden to our kids' area for a lot of family fun. And then probably one of the biggest additions this year is Sunday Hyundai, where all dogs and their humans are free. In the past, it used to be that um, only the Dotsons that were racing were allowed into the festival. And so Sunday Hyundai is one of our biggest features this year as well. I, I know several pet owners that would love being able to take advantage of that, especially on these cooler days. We did get pretty lucky with it being a bit cooler this year. The event officially kicks off in a few hours, but I want to rewind the tape and show what it's looked like in past years because it really comes alive during the day, at night. I mean, what's it like to be in that atmosphere? Yeah, so we are excited to kind of celebrate all things German. There's music, there's food, there's, of course, beer on the ground, and so it's just a true celebration. We stay off as authentic to Munich's Oktoberfest as we possibly can, but we do add a little Texas twist to that, and so you'll see that on the grounds as well. And on some of the days, you don't even have to pay to get in, right? That's correct. So Thursday and Sunday, there is no admission. It's free. Friday and Saturday, admission is $10. And do people need to get that in advance, or how does that work? You you should purchase in advance to avoid all the lines, but you don't have to. There are ticket kiosks on site that you'll be able to purchase as well. Okay, so if someone is watching this and they are a total Oktoberfest newbie first-timer, what's what are some tips that they should know to, to make the most of their experience? They should come out and expect to have a good time. There is the very authentic piece. You'll see with the foods that are here on the table. There's authentic um, schnitzel, strudel, pretzels, but there's also traditional festival food as well. So if that's not your flair and you're looking for a little Texas twist to it, there's that as well. There's a lot of beer, but there's also root beer and non-alcoholic beverages as well. And so just come out and be ready to have a good time. Abby, thank you so much. This event is always so much fun every year. We're going to have ticketing information, by the way, on our website at fox4news.com. But Brandon and Lauren, before we go, Randy is going to play us out. Back to you guys. Ready to go, Randy. Randy is jamming. Oh, he's got the yodeling down. Yeah, too. boy, that's some good yodeling there. Mm.